Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to new video. So today we are at Motorcar Bratislava Mercedes-Benz in Slovakia, Bratislava. Thanks for having us here today. And in this video we will check out the all new 2023 Mercedes A-Class and this is the AMG line version. So here we will take a look at the exterior, interior, also at the new infotainment system, the new MBUX system and also at the all new Apple CarPlay. So stay tuned for all of that. And here you can see the spec sheet and also the price of this particular vehicle. Or I guess so as first we will check out the exterior differences and how the car looks from the exterior standpoint. Also you can see we have a redesigned front. So the new headlights, also the daylight running lamps and also the front bumper and front diffuser. And also the front bumper is redesigned as well with the new A-Wing shape design as well as the grille has a new design as well for the AMG line. Also if you haven't yet then check out my A45S street style edition AMG version and also there is coming a 45S non-aero package so stay tuned for that. So here you can see new headlights and also the new grille which in this case is the AMG line grille with Mercedes stars uh, in the grille so we have small stars there and also you can see the air curtains on the sides which uh, direct air around the front of the vehicle so let you know how they like the new redesign also the DRLs uh, in the headlights have a new shape and they also differ if you get high performance LEDs or the multi beams also we have the power domes on the front bonnet, front hood that's also new for the facelift on the pre-facelift we did have these only on the 45S now we have it also on AMG line and also on the A35. So there's also some difference for the hood. I think these power domes add a great design to the front of the vehicle. These two power bulges on the front hood. So let me know how you like that. All right, so now we can check out the headlights. So these are high performance LEDs and you can also get the multi-beam LEDs. So the halogen headlights are gone and these are the base headlights, these LEDs. And the main difference is that with multi-beams you can cut out ongoing traffic and traffic in front of you. With these ones you can have only a beam and high beam. So you can switch between these two modes. Multi-beams can cut out on the high beam. So that's the main difference if you drive outside of the city. And also the design of the DRLs, you have these smaller two dots on the multi-beams so there's also something to consider and also the optics of the lights itself are different with the multi-beams all right and now we can check out the side of the vehicle you can see also how the front looks from the side with the new front bumper new a-wing design for this particular car we don't have a night package so the window trim around the windows is in chrome and also the wheels are in this gray silver finish all right, so here are the wheels and these are 18 inch. You can also get the 19 inch for the AMG line. For the non AMG line, you can get the 16, 17 and also the 18, but a different design than here. Here we have the AMG logo in the wheels on the side wall. So let you know how do you like this. And these are two 25, 45 R18 and the Bridgestone Turanza on this particular car. The door handles on the top are in the chrome. That's also the same as on the pre-facelift. And now it's time to check out the rear. So you can see the rear of this hatchback. By the way, the color here is a polar white and you can get the A-Class hatchback in uh, petrol and also diesel versions and also plug-in hybrids. So that's also a possibility. We have also 1.33 liter and 2 liter petrol engines and for the diesel we have a 2.0 liter as well and 2.0 liter petrol is now mild hybrid same as on the A35 for example on the A220 or A250 and this is the A200T 2.0 liter diesel engine 150 horsepower and with the AGDCT transmission, so 8 gears, the acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour happens in 8.3 seconds and top speed is 220 km per hour or 136 miles per hour. Or I guess so the main difference here for the facelift in the rear are these new tail lamps. So you can see the design of the tail lamps uh, before on the pre-facelift we have LEDs all around the edge 
of the tail lamps but now we have one stripe in the middle which is different thickness on uh, different sides of that stripe so on the edge you can see it's more thick than on the inner part and also you can see like an indentation in the middle of that stripe so I think it looks really modern and uh, it makes this car look like it's a newer model if you have these new tail lamps personally I quite like these uh, these ones and uh, yeah, I prefer them to the preface lift. I think they look uh, more grown up, even we can say. So let me know your thoughts on the tail lamps in the comment section down below. What do you think about that? And now we can open the fuel cap, and here you can see recommended pressure for the each tire size: 16, 17, and also 18 and 19. And this is diesel. The blue one is for the Ed Blue. That's only for the diesel. So now we can open the boot, so the hatchback is manual, you can open it only manually. Alright, so the size is 370 liters, that's 13 cubic feet, and you can see the split of the seats, 40, 20, 40. So for example, you can fold only middle part to transport some long objects like golf bag or the skis, something like that. So you can transport something long in the middle and still have two passengers in the bag, like skis for example, snowboard, things like that. And underneath you can find a subwoofer and also first aid kit and tire kit as well. So let me know if this is enough for you. For example, the CLI has larger boot, 460 liters, even 5 liters more than the new C-Class. So uh, CLI definitely has a larger boot. And you can see here the hooks for the net where you can attach it to secure the luggage as well. So if you want to close the boot, you need to do that also manually, but it's pretty easy. All right, guys, so now it's time to check out the interior. Mercedes-Benz illuminated at the door seals and AMG floor mats. All right, and now it's time to hop inside and check out all the changes of the new A-Class facelift. This is how the front looks from the rear. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I think the facelift looks really amazing and I really like the new facelift. So I think now it adds everything what is in the other new vehicles, other new models here for the A-Class as well, so that's uh, really great. All right, then here is the key fob to the vehicle, same as with the pre-facelift, so this is not changing here with the facelift. Uh, you can see the all-new steering wheel, this is the AMG Line Super Sport steering wheel, and we have also the latest MBUX infotainment system here, Mercedes-Benz user experience, same graphics as in the S-Class, C-Class, and other new uh, vehicles. For this particular car we don't have here the trim and also because of that you don't have the uh, LED stripe here. Otherwise you would have it here so that's uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, also there you cannot see that. I think some maybe someone actually will uh, enjoy it as well. So here you have also microfiber because of that. Uh, if you don't have here this decor, so some people actually might like this, like uh, this look. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comment section down below uh, which one do you like. Personally, personally, I like more with the silver trim. That's uh, that's for me. But let me know in the in the comment section down below. So here we have button for the heated seats. We on three levels. You can also get the ventilated seats uh, as well. You can lock and unlock the car. And then we have controls for the for the then we have uh, buttons for the windows and for the mirrors you can fold the mirrors as well and then we have uh, illuminated here door pocket which is quite large with the place for a water bottle and then we have speaker there uh, these very nice pedals so these are for the AMG line uh, these are from the aluminum and with these rubber dots so they are not slippery and this is the new AMG uh, Super Sport steering wheel. AMG line and this is the new AMG line super sport steering wheel uh, with the flat bottom and these like uh, smaller protrusions like not holes but you can see it's not smooth on the sides and we have a very nice dark red stitching so right now I have it on the single color in terms of the MB lighting we will check this as well here you control the cruise control or the Stronic depending what you have in the vehicle home button and uh, on the right side you control the screen and the voice and uh, you can 
take and hang up the calls, favorites and voice recognition. Uh, here you control the transmission and with this one you control the windshield, uh, washer fluid, wipers and indicators as well. Uh, we have two displays but with all new graphics and still manual buttons for the AC. Barrel charging for a phone, two cup holders, these are adjustable. So now we don't have here anymore the touchpad. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, different here for the facelift. Uh, you can control the screen with the touch uh, because it is a touch screen. Some people use touchpad, some people use the, like finger. So um, yeah, let me know uh, what would you use. And also you can control here with the button on the steering wheel. So in terms of the seats, we have here AMG line seats with the integrated headrest and these are actually really comfortable with this microfiber material and Artico man-made leather. You can get this in different colors, also new color, I believe it's called Sage. So this kind of a light green, we can say color with Artico leather. So let me know your thoughts on this as well with the dark red stitching and in the middle we have an armrest which has a place for two arms and the USB-C ports are now illuminated and pretty deep this uh, space underneath the armrest and also here is illuminated the USB-C port and on the right side we can find the 12 volt socket and you can also close this so that's also uh, the same as in the preface lift here uh, in front of the passenger we have the glove compartment uh, which is quite deep actually. So now we can check out the driver screen. So the driver screen basically has here classic sport and understated. So understated now can change colors same as in S class or C class. Also changes this in terms of the colors. The central screen also changes the color. Then we have the sport mode. So this one, you can see GeForce engine data. Also the middle screen is in red. And then we have a classic one, which is uh, which has these two instrument clusters, same as in the S-Class, C-Class. And you can change here, when you swipe, you can change what is in the middle. So it can be like a navigation. Then we have odometer, then consumption from start, consumption from reset. Uh, eco, I believe this is eco score, then we have a consumption on um, which is uh, at the moment uh, this is attention assist and the yeah, radio. Uh, you cannot change what is in these dials anymore so uh, you, yeah that's, that is not possible now. Also not in the C class nor the S class. Then we have the navigation here which can be on the full screen Assistance, this is for the assistance systems driving, this kind of sc screen. And services, here we will find the temperature for the tires and also the pressure for each tire individually. When is next service at blue range, that's only for the diesel. And then uh, warning messages and engine oil level when you will start to drive. So that's basically it. In terms of the middle screen, we can find here some new changes. So in terms of the middle screen, we can see here the navigation, which is the new one from the S-Class, C-Class. Then we have the phone, you can pair two phones. Then we have the radio, uh, media, you can connect your phone. You have apps for Mercedes Me. Uh, then we have a comfort. This is for the ambient lighting. So here we have a brightness that's on the maximum. You can also link uh, zones, so you can have a direct, indirect, uh, or vents. And then you have effects, so here you can have greeting, climate, and multicolor animation. So we can now check the colors, you have uh, 64 individual colors. Uh, that's for the monochrome, so for example, if I change now to the, like purple, you can see it changes. Or like a red one. Then we have this yellow, so basically you have 64, like a green one, you can see. 
And then for the multicolor, you have uh, new colors, new color combinations, ocean blue, then we have the Miami Rose. This is, uh, looks like this. Then we have the Malibu Sunset. I think this is one of my favorites, this turquoise and pink. Then we have the Burning Blue. This one is uh, blue and yellow. Then Venice Pink. Chrome Shine. Then we have Red Moon. Also, I like this one. Then Jungle Green. Ultramarine. And then we have the first cyan. For the AMG models, you have also racing yellow and racing orange. So those are only for the AMG. So then uh, we have uh, info. So here you would see consumption, then vehicle. We need to turn on the ignition. So here you would see uh, consumption of the vehicle. Uh, then you will see a vehicle here, accelerator, brake, and the angle of the vehicle, and steering angle as well. And then in the engine you will see the torque, power, uh, boost pressure, and also the temperature of the oil and transmission. And transmission oil and also the engine oil. Then in the settings uh, we have assistance. This is for the assistance systems, collision avoidance, so you can see here different assistance systems, camera, you can open the camera cover, parking, parking, this is to set warning tones, audio fade out, and these kind of settings. In the vehicle we have a driving, winter tire limit, automatic filling station search, and car wash mode, then you can open close, and that's for these functions. Dynamic Celeste, this is for the driving. So you can have a start, you can have ask when starting, and for the individual, the drive, you can have eco, comfort, sport and manual, and steering, you can have a comfort sport, and ESP, you can have on a comfort or sport. Then with the lights, we have inter extra lightning, so you can set this as well. Then system, voice assistance, display and messages, display brightness, you can set this as well from minus 5 up to plus 5. Language, keyboard, control elements, audio, internet, bluetooth, and info, here you have the info information as well. Then smartphone, this is for the smartphone integration, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Here we have favorites, so like a park assist, ambient lighting, consumption, traffic, route overview, sound browser, display of manual, and you can also add, and here we have notifications. All right guys, so uh, finally we have the Apple CarPlay on the full screen in the A-Class facelift. I assume the Android Auto is also on the full screen, so I personally don't have Android phone, so I cannot uh, like test this but i assume why not uh, why this would be and android auto no so i think they both are now on the full screen which is uh, a great news because before it was like uh, almost half of a display uh, it had the uh, spaces on each side now we have like smaller one centimeter half an inch uh, of a space because of the home button there but uh, if you are driving you are not like a two you, you basically cannot see that empty space here when you are driving. So this is uh, fantastic news for the Apple CarPlay. So you can basically have uh, here a split menu with the, the navigation ways and like a music or the podcast. So this is uh, really, really amazing. So if you tap here, you will see the split menu. So on the left side, you have the vase, for example, I use uh, very very often ways basically almost uh, every time i drive and then you can have here direction when you are driving and here you can have podcast or the music app spotify apple music or other uh, services basically 
so uh, yeah I'm really happy with this also if you are on the call you can see here the person time etc so this is uh, fantastic news also you can make the vase uh, full screen and you can find uh, basically everything so yeah this is uh, uh, very very good so what we have here uh, I have iOS uh, 16.2 so the latest one and uh, yeah basically if I swipe uh, it works also here for the slip, uh, split screen and I have here the phone music apps uh, messages now playing podcast audiobooks uh, calendar settings and Google Maps I use Google Maps because um, here they're a little bit better in Slovakia than Apple Maps but uh, yeah, otherwise I use uh, Apple Maps Apple Maps too uh, now and then but usually I use uh, Google Maps not for driving but for finding stuff uh, yeah for finding stuff addresses etc and for driving I use uh, Waze which is here on like a quick uh, select and then you can have other apps like messengers whatsapp and uh, these kind of things uh, on other page there so really great in terms of the Apple CarPlay that this is now on the full screen and I connected the Apple CarPlay via the cable but you can also do that wirelessly so we have wireless uh, Apple CarPlay now in the A-Class facelift and we can also check out other stuff in the infotainment system here because we have here the latest generation of the MBUX system which you know very well from uh, top cars and the all new models so now we have it also here in the new A-Class facelift so yeah that's basically it in terms of the infotainment system here so let me know what you think uh, about this in the comment section down below here on the top you can find a panel with the lights SOS button, Mercedes Me button and sun visor with the light and microphone as well so yeah that's basically it in terms of the front seats so now we can hop and check out the back seats as well So this is about how much space do I have in the rear, same as in the preface lift. So this is unchanged, I can tuck my feet, not fully but almost fully I would say. And the seat is in its lowest position, manual seat. So yeah, this is how it looks in the back, uh, really great uh, for this A-Class, also net here. And you can see also illuminated USB-C port here vents and here is my backpack so basically you have this much space uh, here this is like uh, two inches five centimeters and if i sit like this relaxed uh, yeah good good space definitely all right guys and in terms of the headroom i have about i would say a good six centimeters like uh, definitely like about two two inches even a little bit more maybe so i think this is a great result for the a-class hatchback also here are the seats with integrated headrest and they are nicely curved here also at the rear so uh, yeah really really stylish and comfortable seats with microfiber and you can tuck here away and in the middle we have a extendable armrest with two hidden cup holders they are also uh, adjustable for the drinks so uh, this is really great and yeah, really enjoy this. Also on the top here you can find the light and you can hang your jacket uh, as well and door handle in the back, in the front. We don't have the door handles, only in the back. Also here for the door packet you have uh, ambient lighting. And yeah, this is basically uh, how it looks. So let me know what you think. Isofix for two child seats and very very nice place to be and uh, this gives this this touch and uh, this sporty touch the integrated headrest so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below all right guys so thank you much for your support and thank you much for watching this video i will see you soon in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode and hit the bell and turn on all notifications so you are notified for all future episodes once again, thank you very much and I will see you soon in the next video. 
Have a wonderful day.